folks, we're here at 22285 Columbus. And we are looking at a 2000, I'm sorry, 1985 two bedroom, two bathroom home. This house has a septic tank and public water. It's on an oversized lot. I believe it goes to about where that palm tree is. It comes with a shed, it has new air conditioning, a new roof. New water heater, new air conditioning, new windows. 10 by 12 shed and a new mini split which is an air conditioning system in the back room there's been a few modifications to this house but the windows are amazing this is a new garage door this house with some very minor minor sweat equity is going to be somewhat steel. This house is listed at 279.9. It will comp out at or around that price. Fenced in backyard. This is a mature, quiet neighborhood. Big fenced in backyard. Gutters on most of the house. This would not be very difficult to bring this thing back to life. The paint on the outside of the house is a peachy color. It's in good shape, needs some minor touch up. The driveway's in good shape. It's been stained with paint stain. Could use a new coat, would look amazing. Garage doors in good shape. Could use a front front of the house. Could use a little pressure washing. Looks like a citrus tree that died. Another one that's on the way. Those could easily be pulled out, taken out, replaced, made to look new again. The wonderful, wonderful windows. Yard gets a good cutting. Neighbors will love you and you're in business. A little patio out there, completely fenced in yard, okay? Let me take you inside. This is on septic and city water. Piled this porch, which brought the height up a little bit, so this door's a little snug. It's an easy fix, but you'll hear a catch right here, right there. It's no big deal, I just lift up on the door a little bit. It does not make that noise anymore. It's a smooth functioning, screened in front porch. Doorbell camera already installed. Very nice solid door and you walk into the house into the main living area. This is a big, big main living area. This is an art nook right here. There'll be the garage right here in the kitchen. So you come in here, your couches, sitting area. Maybe your TV over here somewhere. Now, these particular homeowners decided to put a mural on this wall. You probably noticed it in the listing photos. This is so simple to correct. Coat of paint takes that right out. It's like a buckskin, a tan color in here. Very, very easily to cover up. They have window treatments, all brand new windows, like I said, 
That is going to be huge savings on energy. This beam, I have the same beam in my house. That's a decoration that the builders used when they built these in the 80s. I painted mine white and it went away. You don't even notice it. And again, here would be a dining area, an extra den, whatever you want to make use of this space. Partly a large living room. Those were the windows to the outside. They've turned that back porch into an extra living area. Into the kitchen, another area where you can put your dining room table, your kitchen table. It's a very good kitchen. I'm gonna take you into the master bedroom. Uh, they have wallpaper. The wallpaper's in good shape. If you can learn to live with it, you could use it. Very big master bedroom. Very spacious, all new tile flooring. Like I said, the wallpaper is in good shape. The window treatments are in good shape. I'm gonna zoom in on this so you can start picking out your sheets and your comforters and your pillowcases now. Okay, then we go into the master bathroom. Pocket slider doors. And really, Maybe 30% of this house needs paint. Just minor touch-ups. Okay. Double vanity. These are original from 85. Same ones I have in my house. Again, a banner of wallpaper here. Glass shower door. It's in great shape. This shower is in very good shape. It needs cleaning, but very good shape. A little bit discoloration right there in the corner but by all means not that bad okay and then the humongous closet I want to walk into this closet for you guys this is a ginormous closet it's a big walk-in closet this is very good usable space for the master bedroom And then, this would have led to outside, but this is going to lead into this covered lanai that they have. It's going to lead back into the house. Those were those exterior windows I was pointing at. But this is a flat roof that they've converted into an extra living area. Okay? Door to the outside. You already saw that back side in the video, the front yard, beautiful hibiscus plant, fenced in backyard, comes out onto this nice patio area. This is the mini split that cools off this room right here. There's your backyard. Final siding for the addition that they put on. They did a nice job. This is good. This gutter right here hides all the uh, piping for the mini split. Again, that's been done well. Here, 71 degrees. This runs on a remote control. Okay. And then that goes over to the other side of the house and that's an additional room. So you have this room, closes off with the sliding glass doors. Closes off with this door and that door. This is a complete and separate room. Back into master bedroom. Out into your den, your living room, your front door. Now I'm gonna take you into the kitchen. This is the garage door. Come into the kitchen, the kitchen's great. You have this big space for your kitchen table, for your dining. This is pretty normal, skylight. It's in good shape. Okay, a little touching up here and there with all these picture hooks. Sliding glass doors out into this, which would be somebody's office, an extra TV room. This is the sliding glass door that went out into that three seasons porch. You can open those windows up, air this out. These all have new windows as well. 
This is a 12 by 10 room. Okay, you shut those doors, it's air conditioned. And you have peace and quiet. These sliders slide with the touch of a finger. Look at the bathroom, or look at the kitchen, I'm sorry. It's a very nice kitchen. Okay. Nice little bump out island, a couple of bar stools here, new countertops, dishwasher. That works good. Whirlpool range, brand new refrigerator here. Huh? And then we have another bedroom. So we come into this bedroom number two. And then what we have here is a converted laundry room. Okay. This is a storage pantry now. So they tapped off the water, tapped off the electric for the washer dryer. There's the old vent. There's electric in here still, but this is wall to wall shelves for all of your food and dry goods. Linen closet, bathroom number two. A little bit of wallpaper. If you don't like it, that can be removed. Another skylight with a new, um, new skylight attached to it from when they did the roof. And a tub shower combo. Now, I can tell you this. This tile is in rough shape. Those are loose. There's, there's rot behind there. There's probably some mildew behind there. Okay. Building inspector is going to point that out. This will have to be redone at some point in time. These tiles will have to be removed. New green board put in right to here. New tile. Reinstall this. Keep the tub. Not a terrible. It's probably a $2,000 repair, but that's the only thing I've seen in this house that I would consider major. And then the garage, the garage is great. This house is a big surprise to me. Okay, clean garage, could use a little paint. A lot of these things, this is normal. I see this in all sorts of houses in Port Charlotte because we had Hurricane Charlie and we got our roofs leaked on and everything got wet. Okay, so the roofs have been replaced. Some of these roofs have been replaced twice. Lots of people didn't do a lot of work in their garages. Okay, this is not a big deal. Someone could fix this on their own or leave it forever. You have some GFCI outlets here. The garage door is good. Doesn't look like the garage door opener is though. It looks like the garage door opener is broke. Okay, garage door is good though, that's a solid door. Then you have your washer dryer out in the garage, hot water heater hookup. This is good. So, there you have it. Some paint, maybe a future bathroom fix, a little bit of love. This is a heck of a house. If myself or my partner Aaron Dom can help you in any way with this house or any other house in Port Charlotte, please let us know. Remax Palm, the best Dom team. Give us a call, 941-626-2869. We'd love to help you find your forever home.